Coming up, I do a first impression of Alexander by the House of Arquiste. Stay tuned. Welcome back everybody. This is Joel The Nose coming to you from Miami. And today I'm gonna to do a first impression of Alexander. You can see it there. Uh, it might be a little out of, out of focus. And that's from the House of Arquiste. You've seen me review them before. Uh, I've done uh, L. have done Sydney Rockpool. But this is the American Niche House and very cool. I've mentioned before, it's designed by an architect. Designed, so the bottles, the, the fragrance is all founded and created by an architect. So there is a theme that runs along here that I'll get to in a second, which I think is very cool with everything I've smelled so far. So I'm working off one of their uh, decants. Here you can see the name, Arquiste there. Uh, and this is one of their decants that I got from Osme. Uh, my local perfumery here in Miami. And just to read you a little information about it, this was uh, this was released in 2012. It is a masculine, so it's not classified as unisex. This is masculine eau de parfum. Uh, the uh, nose behind this is Jan Vazner, who also did a bunch of the others for the Arquiste line. And uh, this is, if you read about it, the backstory. This is based on a gentleman's duel in 19th century Russia, say around 1837. So all their fragrances have a kind of cool backstory, historical, very much again in line with the nature of the architect who is a historical preservation architect. Um, and so all the themes, all the smells behind all their fragrances have that line running through it. Uh, at the top, you have Neroli aldehydes, Iced Vodka Accord and Birch Leaves. At the heart, you have Violet Leaf, Oris, Cognac, Russian Leather Accord. And at the base, you have Fir Balsam, Birch Tar, Oak Moss, Musk Accord. Uh, so it has kind of animalistic base. So let's get right into this. Again, this is just a first impression today, so I'm not going to be doing talking about the, you know, the, the whole uh, day or the whole length or the whole... Uh, performance but let's get a okay got a second squirt there it was good Ooh, wow this is interesting um this is not gonna be for everybody and i love this house so this is for me but i can see this is gonna be a little bit more daring um this initial smell and because they list iced vodka accord which God only knows what notes go into an iced vodka cord. But to me, this smells like you're sipping a vodka tonic in the 1830s in a wood-lined bar wearing riding boots after having just gotten off your horse in an, in an old English town. Uh, actually, it would be a Russian town because that's what this was based on. Um... But to me, all of his all of his fragrances, they just have this historic old smell about them. Uh, again, whether it's an old library, an old church pew, uh, on some of the other fragrances I've smelled, an old barbershop or a modern barbershop, they all have this unique historic smell to them. And clearly, and it evokes a, a, a time gone by, something from the past, typically somewhere in the 17 or 1800s. This is obviously something in their DNA that runs through it very clearly through all the fragrances. And this is cool. I think any Arquiste bottle you pick up, with the exception, again, to me, of Sydney Rock Pool, which is the one of the outliers that I've smelled so far, which I loved, by the way, um, you have this preservation architect feeling that runs through the DNA of all the bottles. And it's one of the things that makes this house so unique and I think so likable. Because I think uh, for people who like a story, who like a different type of smell, who likes something that's unique, that uh, really gives it a flair, you're going to love this house. Um, just to give you a little bit more of this top smell, so again, I'm definitely getting that that vodka, that kind of, I'm picturing a glass vodka sitting in a bar in Russia with the water dripping down the sides, the dew, as it's melting from the ice. I get a slight tea and tobacco smell. And... 
It's almost like being in an old attic. So you get this kind of mashup again, this kind of old time smell. But it's so smooth and creamy. And I think that's from the orris butter, that creaminess and the cognac um, is giving that smoothness and the creaminess from the mid notes. And it almost smells to me when I was a, just a small boy and I would stay with my grandmother in the summers in Ohio and she was a smoker and I would smell this. She would hide packs of cigarettes around her house because she didn't want me and my brother to know she smoked, even though, of course, it was obvious. And I would find these old packs of cigarettes and I would smell them and they had this very distinct smell. And that's what this, this kind of is evoking that memory to me. So uh, it's definitely kind of, you know, leathery, uh, very interesting. Again, this DNA of this preservation architect, old historical smell, whether it be church pews, wood, leather, it all is here. So if you like something unique, if you like something that smells historic and old school, give this one a try. If you have already, I'd love to hear about it. Leave some comments. Uh, if you have, I'd love to hear what you guys think or what you think of my review. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And as I always say now, Santa may leave you some extra gifts this year. This is Joel and Nose coming to you from Miami. I appreciate it as always for you watching and listening and giving me your precious time. And I hope everyone's a great day. I will talk to you guys soon.